Good evening, everyone. Let's play the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. I'll start by looking at sevens, which I can place in one of three spots in row three. And I think that's all I get for the top three rows. It is. The middle three rows, I can place a one in one of two places in row four. Four, three, five, eight, six, nine. So beyond that, I'm done. The bottom three rows, I can only place a nine in two spots in row eight. So now it's time for vertical scanning. I can put an eight in two places in column one. No, one goes in one of those three positions. Oh, I have all my threes. One of those two is a nine, but not here. So nine is placed in box six which will put a 9 in one of those two spots and make a hidden 1-9 pair in row 4. But literally, that's all I'm going to get. Just one digit. After normal horizontal and vertical scanning. Okay. But I can place a 4 by crossing in box 5. The reason is 4 in row 4 rules out those three spots. This 4 also rules that one out, so 4 is in one of those two. And by definition, in one of those two... Okay, I have 3, 4, 1, 9, but box 4, row 4, is completely filled. So, the digits 5 and 6, which are here, and now cannot go here. They must go there and form a pair. So this is a triple. 2, 7, 8, and I know the composition of it. That makes this a pair. 3, 4, and box 5 is done. Now, I need an 8 in row 5, which can't go here, so I must go there. I've got 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9. I need 2, 4, and 7 for those cells. This only can be a 2. Now that's... These are... These two are a 4-7 pair. These two are left as a pair, 3-5, and I know the order, thanks to the 5 in column 1. So I have a triple left here, 2-6-7, which I know the composition of. Okay, and just like that, the middle three rows are done. Now, let's look at column three. It has five digits filled in. I need one, two, three, and six in some order. That's not two. That one isn't one. This, unfortunately, well, it can't be three. And I have nothing useful to show for it. Oh, but I have a crossing on two in box three, because two in column seven rules this cell out. Two in row one rules these two out, so two must go in one of those two cells, and therefore in one of those two cells. Let's see. Uh, two, three, four, seven, nine. I need one, five, six, and eight to fill out column seven. which doesn't really help me much. Oh, okay, I need to place the three. Ah, this could still be three, oofta. Okay, so those two could be three, which is, no, no, actually that one can't be. Okay, so this one can't be three, this one can't be three, this one can't be three, so three must be one of those cells. In box one, actually one of those two specifically, so that means 3 is up here someplace, box 2, row 1. Let's see, I need 1, 2, 5, 6, 8 in some fashion for box 3. Which I'm not going to get much help with. Actually, well, okay, neither of those could be 2 or 8. This one's not 1. Okay, watch for a 156 triple in row one. 
maybe. Okay, what next? Uh, row 1, which seems easy enough to fill out. I have 2, 7, and 8 filled in. I need 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. Uh, well, this can't be 3 or 5. Could be any of the other 4 digits. This is 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. So is that one. That will accept 6. Okay, I need 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. That one can't be 3 or 4. This is only about 1, that one's not 1 or 6. This one can't be 4, 5, or 9, but could be 1, 3, or 6. Okay, I end up with no help at all. Okay, there's a crossing on 9s, I think, in box 2. Those two... And these can't be nine, but I still have four spaces for it. Oofta. <sighs> but I do have a five, six pair in column eight. That rolls it out of those two. If I've got one, three, five, six, nine, I need two, four, seven, and eight for column eight. Oh, well, okay. Uh, I don't quite have the pair. I thought I did. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Uh, let's see. Can I do anything useful with row 9? Maybe. 2, 4, 9 are filled in. I need 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Can't be five. That's not six or one. This one isn't three. I think is anything. Uh, I, it's not eight. Well, that gives me something, but unfortunately, it doesn't give me much. Okay, can this cell be a two? Maybe. Yes. I've got two limited to those two spots explicitly. Can this be a four? Yes. Okay, so two and four can't be here. It can't be here. So two, four actually are hidden pair right there on a diagonal. Unfortunately, everything else has at least two spots. And I've got two, four, four, seven, two, four, four, seven, two, eight, and seven, eight. I've got a perfect chocolate teapot quad in column eight, but as soon as I figure one out, I'll figure the rest. Okay, box eight has one, two, four filled in. I need three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, so after filling it in, I get nothing useful out of it. Uh, these two cannot be 5 or 9. They could be 1, 3, or 7 as far as odd digits. 2, 4, 6, 8 for the even digits. Now I clean this up. That sees 2 and 8 along with 3. That sees 2 and 8 along with 1. I get anything useful out of it? Not really, because one, two, three, four, six. Well, actually, okay, those can't be eight. Those can't be right. eight's in one of those two, but we knew that. In box one, we've got two, seven, and eight. I need one, three, four, five, six, nine. Okay, 
that's not four. Not nine, not three. Not nine or three. This one sees three two ways. And it can't be five. That one sees three and five along with four. Okay, I've got a one, four, six, nine quad here. I believe. Okay, and the reason for that is 2, 7, and 8 can only be in those cells. So this one isn't 1 or 6. This one is not 4 or 6. This one isn't 6. Yeah, that's very unusual that I find a quadruple like that. Three is one of those two. Five is explicitly one of those two in box one and uh, column two also. I got nothing useful to go with. Okay, I've got row two that's left. in row three, but I have just have box two. It's the only thing to fill in. I can't believe I don't have any digits in that box yet. Okay, these aren't three, seven, or nine, so one, five, or... Ah. One, five for odd, two, four, six, eight for even. These can't be four, so one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine are out there. No, those can't be one or two. These are neither one nor six. These are neither 4, nor 5, nor 9. I end up with a weird conundrum, I think. Okay, 3, 5 are the only digits I can place in box 1. Box 2, I guarantee was going to have too many possibilities. Yeah, I can't even limit 8. The only thing I can limit is a 7. Well, let's see. We said those were 2, so this one isn't. And that one isn't either. So 8's one of those 2. Not like that matters. Yeah, the middle three rows are nice and easy. Okay, what do I have in the bottom rows? I've got three-fourths of a six, seven, eight, nine, but I don't have anything else to go with it. Six, seven, eight are in too many spots here, and five, so is five. Oofta. Five is there, nothing else is five. Three is there. Okay, that means those aren't three. Now I have to go a little more systematically at this point. Yeah, two, I got nothing. Three, I just did. Nine is there. I got nothing else to go with it. <sighs> Do I have any columns at work? None that come to mind easily. That's seven still in spots. Oofta. Okay, but those can't be seven. These can't be seven. So seven's limited to one of those two in row nine. So that's not seven. And the important thing is we've discovered that's an eight. Which says that's seven. This isn't. 
and it took me forever to find the sevens in row nine, but this should be relatively straightforward after that. Let's see. That's not eight. That's not seven. Okay, the seven in column eight places four and seven in row six, which will place two and four in box nine. That places seven, two, six, seven. I've got a triple that basically just resolved itself. Oops. Okay, this can't be four. That one still could be, though. This isn't two or six. That's forced to be a three. So that places three in box one. This can't be three or six. That's a one. That's a two. Column three is done. Three, not three, and this yeah. Okay, this is one four six, then that's a four. This is forced to be a five, that's nine, one. I now have a triple in box one instead of a quad. That makes things a little bit easier. This is not one. That's neither three nor seven. This is neither three nor seven. Okay, I've got a five six eight triple in row seven can't do anything else with it, but that's not two, so this is, and two in row three is placed. I can place the eight. I'm left with a one, five, six, triple in box three. Not five, not eight. Not five, not eight. Okay, I need to find other claiming digits at this point. Where are you? Eight there tells me nothing useful. Ah, I have a six, seven, eight triple. That I'm going to go ahead and mark in column six. Therefore, this can't be seven or eight. That place is a two. It's not two, therefore that one is. The two in row two is placed. This can't be six or eight. That's a one, so this is three. Neither of those are three. The one in row two will place the six. So I have one unwind that triple in box three, which unwinds most of row four. I think one, five, eight makes that one six. One, six, five, eight. One, three, six, five. Okay, three in column five places four and three. The six in column six will place the seven and then the eight. I'm left with a seven nine pair in row eight. Okay, neither of those can be seven. This one isn't five. I've got a 6-9 pair in row 3, which places the 5 in row 3. That places 9, 6, 4, 8, 7, 8. We should be away at this point. And not too shabby. 19 minutes. Yeah, I didn't see the 7s in row 9 that place the 8 at the very bottom left of the grid. And if I'd seen that a little bit earlier, I probably would have been okay. But thank you for joining me today.